Mr. Porcupine is just as much our neighbor as all the other forest creatures. I guess so, but all those stickers make me nervous. Not stickers, quills. Look at it this way. He'd be a good person to have on your side if you were in trouble. I guess so. He can shoot those quills out like little spears. Ping, ping, ping. Shooting their quills, indeed. Wherever did you hear that? Oh, everybody knows that. Well, a lot of things that everybody knows just aren't true. It's simply not true that porcupines shoot the quills. Just to remember, it takes all kinds of creatures to make a forest, and we must take folks as they come. I guess so. Ready to go home, sister? That'll do it for the day. Thanks for helping. It was fun. Bye, Teacher Jane. See you tomorrow. Look at that straight arrow nerd, Brother Bear, walking his sister home. I wouldn't be caught dead walking my sister home. But you don't have a sister. Yeah! Besides, you're just jealous because you got kicked off the soccer team for missing practice. You watch your mouth! What are you trying to do? What you say? Watch my mouth! <laughs> well, look at that. Making friends with the little creatures. Watch this. We're going to have a little fun. All we need is a few acorns. <laughs> hey, what the? Hey, brother. your time on these creeps, brother. What are you doing, sister? I had them right where I wanted them. Ha! Go tell it to the butterflies! <laughs> Come on now. They're twice as big as you, and there's a whole gang of them. Teacher Jane says it takes all kinds of creatures to make a forest. Maybe so, but I could certainly do without that too tall. Well, he's one creature I wouldn't put on our good neighbor's chart. Hey, speaking of neighbors, look, the woodchucks, they're moving out. And their house is for sale. Sorry to be losing you, Mr. Chuck. I appreciate that, Mrs. Bear, but you see, we got a very good buy on a lovely split-level burrow in that new development to the other side of the forest. Guess it just wasn't my day, Coach. And not your game either, at least not on the field. But I got a terrific job for you in administration. You do? Yep, higher management. Ha 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 ha! 
left in bear country. I can't lose. But what about Farmer Ben's pumpkins? Farmer Ben sold all his good pumpkins to the pumpkin pie factory. So all he's got left are scrawny, misshapen ones. Hardly worth whittling. <laughs> Papa, please. Must you be so unsporting? It's a bad example for the cubs. Tut, tut. All's fair in love, war, and pumpkin carving contests. Oh, that bear. What a pumpkin! Just wait. You're gonna frighten the living daylights out of the judges. <laughs> we found great pumpkins. I'm gonna carve a real goofy face. Look at mine, Papa. It'll make such a pretty princess. Yeah, sure, huh? Very good. Well, now you run along home. But, Papa, can't we come inside? Inside? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Cubs, but uh, Operation Pumpkin is a top secret project. They can't afford any leaks. Highly classified. But who's going to help us carve our pumpkin? Come on, we'll ask Mama. Well, I suppose you can trust her. The one never knows. There are spies all over the place. You can't be too suspicious. But even the walls have eyes. Whoa. That not whole blink. Beady, sinister spy eyes. And that one looked particularly shifty. <laughs> huh? Say, whose side are you on anyway? We just wanted to see what you were doing. Sorry, Papa. Well, get on home and tell Mama not to wait up for me until I finish carving my pumpkin. This workshop is off limits. <laughs> You lucky pumpkin could have wound up pie filling. After I finish spooking you up, you'll give all Bear Town the heebie jeebies. Yeah, this is the messy part. Ugh. If I can carve a pumpkin as spooky as these insides, I can't lose. Ugh. This'll take some careful planning. Hmm. It'd be a cinch to carve it into a hairy zombie. <laughs> Nah, not scary enough. I know, a scuzzy vampire. <laughs> not bad, but not bad enough. I've got it. I'll carve it into a creepy boogie bear. Whoa! Any one of those would be spooky enough to win the prize. That's it. I'll combine them all together. Genius. Pure genius. I'm going to have the spookiest pumpkin in Bear Town. Let's go dig up our gold. Okay, mates, follow me to Pirate's Cove. Don't tell me you've already found your treasure. Well, not yet. We've been temporarily derailed by one small problem. We don't know where to dig. But there's nothing to worry about, Cubs. I, Papa Q Bear, will find that treasure even if it takes digging up every square inch of Pirate's Cove. Yes, sir, me proud cubs. This time, your papa is really going to ring the bell. It's the telephone. Hello, Bear's residence. Hello, dear. I just baked a batch of my special honey nut cookies. If you're going to be home, I'll bring some over. How nice, Grizzly Gran. We all love your honey nut cookies. Oh, and Gran, would you bring your crystal ball, the small portable one? Papa is determined to dig for pirate's treasures, but he doesn't know where to dig. Of course. See you in a wink. We'll get it. How are my two favorite grand cubs today? Just fine, Grizzly Gran. And when we find our buried treasure, we'll be even finer. Oh, <laughs> I always say, there's nothing like finding a buried treasure to make a body feel finer. Won't be long now. I can almost taste those doubloons. Hush, Papa. You're disturbing Gran's concentration. Oh, listen. 
listen, Papa Bear, and you shall hear great, great wealth is very near. Did you hear that? Great wealth is very near. Yes, but you still don't know where to dig. Oh, yeah. Gran was just coming to that. Weren't you, Gran? No, I've said my piece. Now I must be on my way. Next time you see us, we're going to be rich. Well, as they say, wealth is where you find it. Yeah, and not just rich, we're going to be filthy rich. Mmm. Mmm. You know, I remember seeing an old map once somewhere in our attic. An old map? Yes, it's been in the family for years. It's not in here either. How about you cubs? Find anything yet? That's funny. Where'd they go? Papa! Papa! We found it! We found the map! The moment we've been waiting for has arrived. The answer to our dreams. The key to success. Our passport to happiness. A magic carpet to fly us into the lap of luxury. Papa, it's just a map. But, Mama, you don't understand. It's the map. An unmistakable guide to buried treasure. Come on, Papa. Let's get going. Right, mateys. Let's go. Follow your Captain Papa. No use rushing out there now. According to the map, we'll need moon shadows to find the treasure. In that case, we'd better wait until tonight.